with you guys but I am here today today I am wrapping up my Halloween series I'm so excited today today's video is gonna be three simple fun cute easy also can be sexy last-minute DIY Halloween costumes thought I just throw together a few little last-minute costumes for all of my stylists who don't know how to sew are not really comfortable with sewing and are not that as efficient with the sewing machine needle thread or hot glue gun these are so simple costumes that I've picked out clothes that I already had in my closet and for little tad bit accessories I just went to my local dollar store or grease spot store just to pick up a few little odds and ends um, if you're interested to see how I created or styled these last-minute costumes then stay tuned First costume we have here is one of the cutest costumes I've ever done, and that is Miss Minnie Mouse. This costume was really simple to make. All I need was a pencil, red pencil skirt, and I also used some old paper plates from like a graduation party. Drew a circle in the middle of those and then cut the circle out, and then I just cut out a whole bunch of different circles. Then I took them circles and I taped, or you can glue, I, I decided to use double sided tape because I didn't want to make this a permanent addition to the skirt, and I just taped that all over the pencil skirt. And I cut a little half circles and crescent circles so that it could seem like it's folded and moving around my body. It's real simple to recreate, and then I paired that with a black top as well as some black flats. And to create my ears, I just used some wire and some velvet and then a headband that I got from the Bruce Watch store. And I attached a wire to the headband and then covered that with velvet. And to create the cute little bow, I just used some leftover tool from my old DIY, folded that and um, used some hot glue to fold it and shape it into a bow. Then use another piece of tool to wrap it around and use the little middle part of the little bow. Then I took some white label paper and cut out little circles and then tape that or glue it to the bow and then I did my simple little makeup add a little cute little dot here on my nose and then added that with a red lip and there you got you got Mrs. Minnie Mouse moving on is another costume that is so cute fun and adorable also could be sexy I created myself as a bunny rabbit you could be a white bunny rabbit you could be Jessica rabbit you could be the rabbit from Alice in Wonderland. I just used a simple white, um, I just used a white lace pencil skirt also from Toyd, a black button up that is thrifted and I put on my black and white vintage Oxfords. I um, paired that with a silver bow tie and some bunny ears that I already had from Halloween's past. Um, to create my cute little cotton tail, I took one of those old paper plates and I cut a bigger circle out of it. I took some cotton balls and I just hot glued that to the paper plate. And I just added um, a few layers so I give it a little bit more dimension so it's not so flat. It kind of comes to a point. And then there you have it. You do your cute little makeup with your whiskers and your lip. And there you go. A cute little bunny. Or a sexy bunny, depending on what you go for. Swap out that skirt for a much shorter skirt, or you can wear all a bodycon short black dress, or put on some little cute little shorts. <sighs> Honey, darling. Swap the button up for a revealing low cut top if you keep the pencil skirt. The choice is up to you, honey. The next DIY is for my stylists who love a bit of the macabre and creepy and eerie. This costume is pay homage to Wednesday Adams from the Adams family. <laughs> Absolutely love this. This costume completely 100% easy DIY. Everything I already had in my closet. I have a black skater dress, a black long sleeve top, as well as a white button up and then you can pair that with a pair of black tights and some black boots for that head to toe black look. I threw on my favorite floppy black hat from Torrid as well as a the wig from my steampunk costume and put that in two pigtails to give me that classic iconic Wednesday Adam look. 
Um, I put it on a black lip and put on some black eyeliner to just give me that dark, threatening look. I borrowed a hammer from my uncle to set off that one dangerous, threatening look that Wednesday is totally known for. Don't you just love her? She's so cute. This is truly my favorite, favorite out of the three. When I think of Halloween, I think of I think of the Adams family and Beetlejuice. And I for Christmas and Coraline. What's your favorite Halloween? Okay, stylists, thank you so so very much. I hope this helped you. Any of my stylists who's out there who was struggling to find inspiration or is in a pinch for a last minute costume, all of these costumes are very much appropriate for office as well as school for some of you younger people or some of you people who don't really go to, out for Halloween but do have a office party. Um, I am so very excited. I am sad and excited that Halloween is wrapping up. I am going to a bar crawl this Friday and I just cannot. Eat. Woo. Please show off my costume. I am so, so, so excited. Okay, stylists, I'm going to let you guys go. I want to keep this video short and sweet. It's like I can get it up to you guys by the end of today or tomorrow. Fingers crossed. Thank you so much for watching, stylists. Thank you so much for sharing the love, chiming in, subscribing, liking, watching. Continue to do so. Do not be shy. Comment below. Tell me hi. I would love to hear from you. Share with your friends. If you like this video and you want to see other videos like this, give that like button a little boop boop. Thank you so much for watching and you guys have a very, very enchanted, creepy, eerie, beautiful, magical Halloween. But most importantly, always remember to love yourself a little. Until next time. Thank you.